Are you so tired of trying to figure out how to get moist, tender, juicy, boneless, skinless chicken breasts? Well, I guess what? If you know anything about sous vide, then you know sous vide boneless, skinless chicken breasts is perfect every time. And today on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show, I am going to show you just how easy it is. And if you're looking for more recipes that will make your life better in the kitchen, then go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because I come out with new videos every Friday and that way you will be notified. You guys, I used to totally suck at making boneless, skinless chicken breasts. It was always dry, it never had a good flavor, it was stringy, and so I honestly didn't use it very much. So today I'm going to show you how to make perfectly tender and juicy boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and it's about the easiest thing I've ever done. My name is Heather, and this is the Spicy Apron Cooking Show, and I am here to make your life in the kitchen easier. So let's get going on the chicken breasts. Okay, first, seasoning. Now something about sous vide cooking is you actually need to put a lot of seasoning on it. I'm honestly not sure why. If anybody knows the answer to that, why does sous vide cooking require more seasoning than usual? please put the answer in the comments below. I will be forever grateful. So you're gonna put some salt and some pepper. And I always use fresh ground pepper. It's just better. And guys, don't be shy. Don't be shy on the salt. Don't be shy on the pepper. And then the last thing I put is a little bit of seasoned salt. Now you can omit this if you don't like it, but honestly, it adds so much flavor, I don't know why you would. So make sure your chicken is fully seasoned. And now we are going to put it in the bag that you're going to submerge in the water for your sous vide cooking. And seriously, this is super easy. Okay, so my chicken breasts are seasoned. I did do both sides. You're gonna wanna make sure you season both sides. Put in your chicken breasts. Now, I will often add a couple of fresh herbs right on top of the chicken. Now, to be honest with you, it doesn't add a whole bunch of flavor, but what it does do is it gives you that nice aroma. So when you pull the chicken out to then sear it later, oh, it smells so good. But the real flavor, honestly, is coming from the salt and pepper and seasoned salt. All right, let me get this out of the way and I will get our water and we are going to submerge it. All right, I'm gonna get this all ready, but in the meantime, I would love to hear from you guys. What do you do with your boneless, skinless chicken breast after it is cooked? Do you eat it by itself? Do you put it in a casserole? What do you do with it? Go ahead and put that in the comment below. Now, those of you who are familiar with sous vide cooking understand that you need to submerge this to get all the air out. If you're not familiar with sous vide, basically what you're doing is you are going to be cooking this in a bag submerged in water. I know that sounds weird. It sounds like boil in a bag chicken, which kind of it is, but trust me, it's a lot better than that. So the easiest way to do this, there are two ways. One, if you have a vacuum sealer, which I do use all the time, go ahead and seal it up with your vacuum sealer. But if you don't, it's easy to just go ahead and submerge it in your water. It's called the displacement method. Now, by the way, this water uh, is room temperature, so do this before you get your water hot. As you submerge and push it down, you want all the air to get out of there. So you push down, you zip up your bag a little bit, push down more, and you want to get as much air out of this bag as you can. Then you leave a little corner up there, press it down until there's just very little air. Do the best you can. Squish that air out and then zip it up completely. And that is pretty close to vacuum seal. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is bring your water to 149 degrees. Now that's a beautiful thing about sous vide is you can make it exactly how you want. And it will be that perfect temperature through and through. I have done chicken breast several times. I personally like it at 149 degrees. I've made it 153, 154. To me, that was too dry. Uh, any less than about 149, and it starts to get a little bit of kind of pink, and I'm not super comfortable with that. So for me, 149 degrees is the perfect temperature. Another tip with sous vide cooking is you might want to cover the pot at least partially to prevent a lot of evaporation. So. 
Go ahead, get your water to 149 degrees, submerge your chicken, and it's gonna be so perfect, you can't believe it. All right, time is up. I did these about 90 minutes. The good thing about sous vide is you do have some flexibility with your time. If you want it a little bit longer in there, that's totally fine. This is about 90 minutes. I've done it 60 minutes, it's great. I've done it two hours, it's great. So what we're gonna do is take them out of the bag, as you can see, they're in there. These are fully cooked, okay? Fully cooked, you do not need to do anything else. You can feel free to dig in. But what I'm going to do is take them out of the bag and then give them a nice sear on the outside. It just takes about two minutes per side. Uh, and then it'll look nice and golden. Let me pull them out of this bag and I'm gonna get my pan nice and hot and we will sear them. And you guys, remember what I said about that aroma with those herbs? Oh, rosemary, sage is just fabulous. It smells wonderful. Uh, like I said, it doesn't add a ton to the flavor and that is because herbs, fresh herbs in particular, actually take a higher temperature to break down. So they're not really, really seeping into the chicken, but that aroma just adds to the whole experience. All right, let's get that pan hot. All right, my pan is nice and hot. And by the way, this pan is a wonderful new pan I just got. Uh, I got it from Mealthy. I will put a link below because honestly, it's a super high quality pan for not very much money. So let me put a link to that below so you guys have this awesome pan if you wanna sear your sous vide. All right, pour your olive oil in. You can also use butter if you want. Make sure that pan is fully coated, nice and hot. And again, this, these chicken breasts are fully cooked. This is really just to give it a nice caramelization and color. Now, while they're in there, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper for good measure. Like I told you, sous vide cooking does require a little bit more seasoning than other kinds of cooking. Again, please tell me in the comments below if you know why, because I don't. All right, we're gonna let them sear on each side for about two minutes and then cut into them and see how beautiful and perfect these boneless, skinless chicken breasts are when you cook them sous vide style. All right, look at that golden color on the other side. A uh, little bit more seasoning on this side and these are just about ready to come off. It has never been easier to do boneless, skinless chicken breasts, thanks to sous vide. All right, they're done. I'm gonna turn the heat off and let me put them on this plate. A little bit of spinach there and you pretty much have your whole meal right there look at that look at that chicken i'm going to get rid of this pan and cut into it so you can see okay guys here goes this is a boneless skinless chicken breast it is juicy it is tender oh my gosh just look at that all right i'm taking a bite i know you guys are probably used to me doing that look it's perfectly look at that it is perfectly cooked okay here is the big test mm, you guys it is so tender and juicy i honestly never knew chicken breast could be that juicy and tender really thanks to sous vide you gotta love sous vide cooking and now that you know that Boneless, skinless chicken breast should be cooked at a temperature of 149 degrees for about 90 minutes. I've got more information for you. It's a free download. It's a chart that's got temperatures and times for all of your meats that you're gonna wanna cook sous vide. And if this video showed you how wonderful sous vide chicken breast can be, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you next time on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Happy cooking and happy eating.